Good morning to all of you. Professor Kunnan, Professor Tommy, Professor Shiprashad. Um, you know, we have been here for some time listening to them. And um, they have spoken many nice words about us. But I've been always told when friends speak nice words, don't uh, think seriously about it. I have not yet seen whether enemies speak nice words or not. So that's a different story. So um, I will uh, take this. Uh, I'll speak for not more than five or seven minutes, uh, both on behalf of uh, Professor uh, Shiprashad and Professor Shuresh, as well as on my behalf. Um, so that will essentially to tell you a um, little bit about what we are going to do. But before that, a little reminiscence, as Professor Phatak pointed out, uh, we came, uh, I came roughly around the same time because he had come after his, though he's uh, slightly junior to me, but he had come after his MTech and I had come after my PhD. So uh, we came at the same time. Uh, and when I came, uh, the computers were, had not developed. Though there was a computer science department was just being born actually. Uh, they, it was a part of electrical engineering department. Later on, it was, uh, you know, separated and all that. Uh, when I came, today you see many fancy buildings and all that, uh, but uh, Pawai was not accessible from the rest of Bombay. There used to be only one bus coming in every half an hour. I still remember its number, 392. And uh, this was all jungles with snakes all over. And uh, we were all, uh, you know, told that beware of snakes. And today, when I was sitting next to Professor uh, Kannan, I found uh, there are snakes on his computers as well because he was using th something called Python, which, <laughs> which I was always told to be afraid of. So that's the way the uh, development has been taking place. And um, we have really greatly benefited from being in an engineering department, an engineering institute, primarily. Uh, unlike... Uh, what Professor Tommy told you, that what happens in engineering colleges today, the departments of physics, chemistry, and mathematics are considered as service departments. Uh, believe it or not, uh, back in 70s when we came, the situation in IITs were not much more different. I mean, we had, uh, at that time, if not uh, as bad as it, it is with uh, many departments in uh, engineering colleges, the physics, chemistry, mathematics were still considered as service departments. They have, of course, grown like anything from there, and they are, uh, you know, fairly big departments today. Um, coming back to um, what we are going to do, we had a very big problem when people said that, look, uh, uh, you have to teach the teachers. Now, what is the problem of teaching the teachers? Uh, you have all done the same thing. So the always the problem is, ha, so what is great? I know this. Uh, and this is always a challenge for uh, anybody to hold your interest for uh, one and a half hours. And um, as you know that uh, Professor Fatak talked about 21st century teachers. I am actually more like a 19th century teacher. And in this room, I have a lot of problem because there is not even a blackboard. And uh, But anyway, we'll try to do our best. And uh, what we did is to go through the syllabi uh, of various engineering institutes that was provided to us uh, by our colleagues uh, who are uh, in Professor Fatak's office and project. And uh, uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of diversity on uh, the uh, curriculum that is followed in various universities. Uh, so what we did is to sort of uh, you know, filter out a little bit, which is common uh, to most of the institutions. So we decided that we will have um, uh, some course uh, lectures on electricity and magnetism. Uh, optics, relativity, quantum mechanics, and maybe one or two lectures on magnetism and superconductivity. Uh, we have uh, uh, also written in our syllabus that we'll be talking about nuclear physics, but uh, we'll see if it is workable, then maybe optics has to be curtailed by one lecture and we can take up nuclear physics. Um, the point that I'm trying to also make is that um, electricity magnetism uh, which I will be teaching uh, and starting next, um, usually is given for 40 lectures in this institute. And I'm going to condense it in four lectures, uh, which requires, uh, you know, really wizards to do it. And since I'm not a wizard, what I'm going to do is to pick up 
a few things and um, you know i mean um, look at that uh, but there is one advantage which both professor shiprashad and myself have uh, our lectures which we will be giving most of them are available uh, as a part of nptel projects uh, in fact in electricity magnetism um, i have myself given uh, one uh, uh, web course as well as a video course which is available on nptel uh, professor shiprashad has given course on Uh, relativity several uh, lectures are there and uh, in any case some of those could become uh, supplement uh, but let me sort of uh, tell you something this is a five day course naturally there would be um, you know dissatisfaction of what you have uh, picked up from us uh, because nobody nobody can uh, teach you in five days what normally they teach over a semester and that too over several courses uh, but it would help us a lot if when you go back to your institutions you let us know uh, you know like for example this time we will not be able to do many problems other than illustrative problems we will not be doing any problems it's just there is no time but december we have uh, uh, the possibility of doing uh, tutorial sessions with problems so if you could when you go back you know send us uh, questions which belong to this same disciplines as we are talking about that it would be nice if you could do this problem and uh, then what we will do is to look at uh, uh, whatever is possible and then we will accordingly modify our second session that is the december session we will be doing specific problems that you may have uh, sent us so therefore keep in touch with us after uh, the uh, five day session is over and uh, once again since we will be talking and you will be seeing us uh, for uh, next 5 days i will not be exceeding uh, my time so i think we'll probably disperse for half an hour and come back at uh, 11:30 for the first session of lectures thank you very much